Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's gonna be time for a new series. Today we're gonna be playing some Crusader Kings 2. This is with the new Monks and Mystics DLC. Whoopsie, sorry guys, just gonna turn down this music here just a little bit. So, um, we're gonna be starting up a new campaign today with the Monks and Mystics DLC. It's a fairly small, I would say fairly small expansion to uh, Crusader Kings 2. It does add some new stuff to the game. This damn music, man. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> um, yes, so it does add a little bit of, uh, you know, some different stuff to, to, the, to the game of Crusader Kings 2. I'm actually mostly interested in some of the free uh, patch changes that come with, with the Monks and Mystics DLC. Um, there's actually a lot that's changed about the user interface and just some quality of life improvements and such that are kind of nice. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and, and hop on in. Um, some of the big changes to uh, to Crusader Kings 2 with this DLC is is things like monastic orders and monks and you know heretics hunting for heretics and like I said as well as some some user interface performance change <clears throat> excuse me performance changes and such. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Let's go into the single player. We'll play in the early Middle Ages. Um, I'm not the greatest CK2 player, but I do think the game is interesting as far as uh, a historical point of view. So I'll do my best to be at least. Interested in the history of what's going on here. So let's play in the early Middle Ages, 769 AD, Anno Domini, the year of our Lord. The early Middle Ages started with the fall of the Western Roman Empire in the early 5th century. The early part of this era saw the great Germanic and Slavic migrations across Europe, with people such as the Goths and the Lombards settling in southern Europe, the Franks settling in Gaul, and Saxons crossing the sea and settling in Britain. The Eastern Roman Empire was violently shaken by the pressure of the Goths and the Avars and fought bitterly with the ancient Persian enemy. The rise of Islam saw the Arabs conquering immense amounts of territory in the Middle East and North Africa, and in India, several great dynasties vied for their dominance, with the Rashtrakutas, Rashtrakutas rising towards the end of the 8th century. In the steps, the Khazars grew in power, and in Scandinavia, things were about to change in a way that was to affect the entire continent. So, let's go ahead and jump on in here. Let's go to a custom game setup. Let's go and uh, go to Realms. So, let's see. What do we have here? I've actually been a little curious about what I actually want to play. I have decided on the Duchy of... Or the Kingdom of Bavaria. Uh, we are King Tassilo of Bavaria, age 28. And he rule, uh, he, he reigns from uh, Munchen in Oberbayern. Let's see here. Where's where's Oberbayern? Right here. Munchen, Munich. Then here's Salzburg. So, we're a little bit close to Austria. Here's Österreich, actually. I guess this is supposed to be where Vienna is. So, we've got a couple of vassals. It's kind of hard being this guy. Uh, small dynasty. We have a couple of vassals. Um, the Kingdom of Lombardy is, is much easier, as well as, like, Middle Francia and being, um, you know, Charlemagne and, and all those guys. But let's try Bavaria. I'm not good at the game, per se, like I said. But uh, let's go and jump on in. Just to show off for a little while, a couple episodes or so, um, some of the new features and stuff, some of the monastic order features and such. So, let's go ahead and click on play. Also, maybe we'll be able to uh, spread Catholicism violently. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. Actually, there is a way to be kind of like a proselytizing sort of heretical burning faction here. Um, let's see. So we're going to play on Iron Man as uh, always. Uh, major epidemics will take um, as early as 200 years to occur and might, right, might reappear 500 years after game start. Let's see. No sunset invasion. And then everything else is basically on historical uh, settings, right? There's nothing that I'm really disabling or anything. Any, uh, you know, way, way of life. I have all the expansions and such, so this will be with all the expansions. Um, you know, there's there's Dejur Drift, there's Turkic Conquerors, and, you know, the, these are some of the new features here, Monks and Mystics, Devil, um, the, these are the Monks and Mystics features. Uh, we have Devil Worshippers, so there might be some people who are Satanists, and they practice and spread their foul magic across the world. We might actually become one of them. Let's see, anything else that's um, specific to Monks and Mystics here? I believe this one is the only only option that you can tick by default. Devil worshippers. You're either gonna have people that are Satanists or you're not. Let's go Iron Man Bavaria. Start Iron Man. Let's do it. Um, just as a disclaimer, this was provided uh, free of charge by Paradox Interactive. So I I have not paid for this. I have not been paid to sponsor this video. I'm just playing it. They just gave me the code for free. So I just want to put that as, as a disclaimer before we get into the uh, to the gameplay here. Okay, we are German Catholic King. No special features for our, our Germanic culture. And then we are Catholic. Let's go ahead and close that window. So we have the Kingdom of Bavaria here. So let's see. King Tassilo III of Bavaria. We have the King of Bavaria. We have, uh, let's see, a county of Oberbaren, county of Nuremberg, and the county of Niederbaren. We are Catholic. We are German. So let's go and take a look at our culture here. Yes, this is this is German here. We do have like some Frankish stuff over here. And then we have some uh, some other proper German territory here. These guys are Saxon. 
Uh, let's see, Pomeranians over here. These guys are Slavics and such. So we are the, the easternmost march of, uh, of Germanism. So that's going to be awesome. We've got about 2,000 men in our levy. So we should be careful about going to war with anybody over here. Let's see here. We have we have a son. Uh, let's see. Any important positions or um, any important decisions that we should take? Well, let's go ahead and recruit a court physician. So this is um, kind of new here. This is part of the UI improvements. They just cleaned up this uh, the, you know this menu a little bit. I think everything looks a lot nicer. That's just what I've noticed. Everything looks much more clear. Let's go ahead and recruit a court physician. I've sent messengers and scouts out in all directions to scour the realm for a doctor. Let's do it. We can create the Duchy of Bavaria and the Duchy of Austria. I'm actually going to go ahead and let's actually take a look at the realms here. So we have a bunch of counties. We don't have any duchies. And I'm actually not going to create any duchies, I don't think. We're going to go ahead and hold on to our duchies for now. Uh, possibly we could form the uh, the Holy Roman Empire. That'd be awesome. The Empire of Germania. We're already a king, right? There's not much else that we can, you know, that we that we can't do. Uh, let's go ahead and pick an ambition here. We're going to go ahead and uh, let's see. Groom and heir would probably be a good idea. Yeah, we want to have a male child and see him reach adulthood. And then uh, let's see, our ambition, or while the ambition is active, fertility is increased by 20%. All right. Let's go and pick a focus. I'm leaning towards, let's actually see, we're good at military. We're really good at intrigue. We have shitty stewardship. We've got good, uh, well, we got crappy diplomacy and crappy learning. We are an elusive shadow. We are wroth. So we, we have a hot temper. We get mad at people. We are content, which means that. You know, we're not striving for anything. We're satisfied with our lot in life. We're paranoid, which means we're, like, stalling. And then we are greedy, so we like money. National tax modifier plus 10%, I will admit, is nice. We should probably focus on uh, on rulership for that stewardship plus 3. I'll we'll go ahead and take that. Let's go for special title actions. I usually just put my crown focus in my uh, in my capital, so might as well just do that. Make crown focus, which will be uh, Munkin here. We make about 6.4 ducats. I think this is... Just base tax? Okay, so that's just a base tax value. Any special titles we can grant? Nothing really for now. Uh, we can't have any marriages with anybody. We are married to the, a princess of Lombardy, so that means that we have, or at least hopefully we have good relations with the uh, king of Lombardy. Let's go take a look at that. Your father-in-law, king of Lombardy, he actually does like me. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the first feature that's part of this Monks and Mystics uh, DLC. So there's this thing called a society. Um, there are here in this in this button this is a new button here it's right to the right of religion um is your society's view you can actually view different societies that might either exist in your realm or there, there might be societies here to my knowledge that actually you don't know about um you can also even see some of the some of the members of these orders so we have four orders here at the beginning of 769 we have the benedictine order uh, let's see, the Benedictine Order is an old monastic community with aura et labora, meaning pray and labor as their motto. Often recognized by their black habits, they worship God and find purpose in prayer and quiet contemplation as well as scholarly work. So I believe the Benedictines were very much monastics. Um, they're, you know, very, very old school. They're, you know, they're kind of hermits and they, and they stick to themselves and they like their work and their scholarly work and, and they're awesome. Benedictines are cool for scholarly people. The Dominican Order is a little different. Um, the Dominican Order uh, are able to listen to the confessions of any Christian, and dressed in white and black, they lead the Holy Inquisition, charged with a mission to identify heretics. Um, we're supposed to strive for a deep truth, and we're not supposed to pursue material wealth, but basically, we're, if you're if you're a member of the Dominican Order, you're a little bit more good at purging heretics and such, people who are against the Catholic faith, um, Fraticellis, Messalians, uh, possibly, I'm assuming, if you own, say, like, Orthodox or Iconoclast territory or something, you'd actually even possibly be good at taking out those kinds of Christians, too. So, interesting stuff. We have the Hermetic Society. Hermetics believe that there are deeply hidden secrets about this world that only the worthy can uncover. Uh, we're actually not able to join this order. Um, you have to have a learning of at least 10. That's cool. And then, uh, we could possibly be some sort of Satanist, right? Those who serve the great adversary hide in our midst. Dedicating their depravities and perfidies to their Lord Satan. Every transgression is a hymn, every murder a roar of defiance against the world of God. Lucifer rewards such dark sacraments handsomely, witches are said to be gifted with their natural lifespans and all sorts of demonic powers. Um, show interest in Lucifer's own. By carefully showing subtle interest in joining the society, you will hopefully be discreetly contacted by a member of Lucifer's own. We're going to go ahead and, uh, just for the sake of this Let's Play, Let's actually go ahead and, and possibly show some interest 
some interest in the learning and teachings of Lucifer. Let's go take a look at our vassals here. We actually have pretty favorable opinions with most of our vassals. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy there. A couple people who aren't paying us as much of our base taxes as they should be, but nothing too crazy. Let's come on up to speed four, and we will just go ahead and start. Let's actually see how the other Frankish realms feel about me. Middle Francia, as our cousin, the king of Middle Francia, he's uh, he's okay. He, he likes me all right. And then the king of uh, of West Francia, my cousin, King Carl of West Francia, he actually likes me quite a bit. I wonder, if, is there anybody that has claims on the kingdom of Bavaria? Uh, let's see, there's a cousin here who's a prince of Bavaria, and then there's another cousin who's a prince of Bavaria, and they all want my titles. We should probably, uh... They're not part of my courts, but I'm, I'm just hoping that nobody uses their titles to press claims. Or using their, uses their claims to press their claims on my, my claims in my realm. Who's this guy? Your messengers tell you of a mercenary band that just arrived in Oberbaren. There's a field surgeon, Herman, and he's apparently a really, really good doctor. He is a renowned physician. We'll go ahead and make him our doctor. 15.9 ducats for a doctor. Sweet. Sounds good. How much money do we make? We make six ducats a month. I like it. Yeah, dear Tassilo, my marshal wants me to uh, join in festivities. Yeah, we'll come. Sounds good to me. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually interesting. I've never really... Obviously, because this, this DLC hasn't even come out yet, we're going to be interested in this Lucifer's own thing. I'm really kind of curious to see who will come by. And talk to me about Lucifer. Let's see here. My liege, we believe, I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions if the proper leverage is obtained. Well, ask politely. <laughs> sure. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at the council. Um, as far as, let's see, council members and such. Everybody's everybody's friendly. Let's go ahead and train troops in Bavaria. Uh, let's see here. So these are new actions here. So these this is like an extra advisor action. Each of these guys... Has an extra action, so court chaplain can actually hunt for apostates and, and heretics and stuff. Spy masters can now scheme, just like, kind of automatically, they just scheme everywhere. Um, I believe your stewards can administer the realm, so you can um, increase your, or you can improve your domain, uh, increases culture conversion chance and prosperity gain, that's pretty cool. Um, your marshal will organize the army, so you get retinue costs and horde maintenance cost reductions. That's pretty cool. Um, training troops still increases your levy size by a certain percentage and the levy reinforcement rate. So honestly, I think unless you're trying to research military tech, trained troops is still probably the best. And then I believe here, um, your chancellor is just performing statecraft all the time. Is just improving relations with everybody. So it, it lowers your threat decay speed, or it raises your threat decay speed so you don't get as much aggressive expansion against your neighbors and such. And uh, apparently, just with random vassals and neighboring rulers and your liege and stuff, everybody just likes you better um, if your chancellor is working. So that's cool. Um, let's see, as a steward, if we grab some money, um, I'd love to collect some taxes here. Let's go ahead and collect some taxes here over Bayern. We're going to make a lot of taxes. We will want, definitely for sure, we're going to want some, uh, some money. We're going to need some cash, I think. So let's see, honored king. Uh, thank you. Yes, as my vassal, you should not be... Should be scourged from factionalism. That sounds good. Do we have any factions anyway? We do, actually. We have some increased council power. Interesting. Let's go ahead and auto stop known plots. Let's go and take a look at our um at our laws here. So we have our council. We have uh let's see, council power. We can either empower the council or right now my authority is is the final word on everything. We are we are an absolute ruler here in our in our uh in our realm. Let's see, centralization. We should probably increase it. Vassal limit, um, we can go to, fa yeah, we can go do low centralization so I can increase my domain size. I kind of want to be like an absolutist monarch. We'll, we'll see about that. I'm not sure yet. Um, that'd be kind of cool. It'd actually be interesting to possibly imprison somebody or do something. These are all very loyal, very loyal vassals and such. So it'd be interesting to kind of be like tyrannical. Um, like this guy, this guy doesn't have any children, right? So if I try to kill this guy... I don't have a lot of power, but if I tried to kill this guy, it wouldn't necessarily be, like, difficult. We have a 61% chance, actually, to imprison this dude, so I could be tyrannical and just do it, and if I can get this guy to die, his land actually goes to me. So that'd be kind of interesting. We can plot to kill him. Uh, I don't know if that would, that would be the most productive thing in the world, I'll admit. Because nobody else really wants to join me. Is there anybody that's, like, thinking about it? Yeah, there's a couple people who are thinking about it. Hmm... 
What, this guy here? Will this guy do it? No, yeah, I can maybe bribe some people. No, let's see. Yeah, early in the game, you're going to want to bribe your vassals and such and try to kill... Try to kill these little dudes. People with no children, people with small families, that would um, basically cause the titles to go back into your name. You want to kind of have that. Let's see, I'm having dinner and plenty of drinks with Mayor Siddleburn of Siren's sister tonight. It's lovely. I'm charged by him himself. Let's see, why else would I not immediately stop our conversation, which is slowly begin to touch upon almost heretical ideas, questioning the salvation of God? Interesting. So this guy... He's zealous, he's Midas touched, he's Catholic. If you do not ask questions, why did God make us curious? So I guess we're apparently questioning the salvation of God right now. This guy must be... Huh, who's this guy? Walking the Palisades of my castle, I'm joined by Mayor Siddlebairn. I find myself agreeing with a lot of the concepts he presents. The futility of prayer particularly resonates with me. Suddenly, he turns to me and presses a small leather pouch into my hand. My lord, will you carry this with you for protection? I'll keep it hidden, and I thank you. Hmm. Let's see here. He tells me, what if I told you that all you've been taught to believe is a lie? Siddlebairn continues, throwing a cautious glance around us before pulling up his sleeve. Revealing a scar in the shape of Satan's mark. God is a liar. Reject the tyrant deity and let Satan guide your steps. You truly are a witch, then. Can you bring down my enemies? Hmm. Looks like we found Satan's followers. We might. If you offer yourself up to Satan, he will grant you powers God has kept from us humans. Fingering the leather pouch in my pocket, I slowly nod. Oh, and I think you'll enjoy it. He said with a, with a knowing smile. Let's see here. Cool. The coven will contact me. Interesting. Really cool stuff. So we have a dangerous faction for sure. Let's see. It has been some time since Mayor Siddleburn was in contact with me. I've been pondering what God would think for me for traveling down this path, but Siddleburn has already offered more support than God ever has. I've begun sending books on the occult, and so far I'm finding the views preached of the church to be narrow-minded at best. I await further instruction. Let's go ahead and check out our domain here. Your steward, Count Gregor, has collected a special tithe in Oberbairn. Interesting. There's uh, There might be a little bit. This looks like a little bit of a bug. All right. We got... Wow, we got an extra 40 gold. Cool. Let's go ahead and improve our castle walls. Let's see here. Let's improve. Levy size, tax income, fort level. Sounds good. So you've arrived at the private rooms of Count Trossa. There is plenty of food and drink here, and the mood is decidedly merry. I'm looking forward to this. Let's get it started. We're going to go ahead and party... Like it's hot. These days of revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time. Cool, we become friends. Nice. Let's see here. I found some cryptic scrawlings written in blood on my bedroom door this morning. The guards say they haven't seen anyone enter during the night. I dare not ask my court chaplain to decipher it. And I think I understand the mark of Satan. <laughs> Let's see. Interesting here. Um... I carved Satan's mark into my arm, just like the one Mayor Siddleburn showed you. I have a bandaged arm. Personal combat skill minus one. <laughs> That's funny. All right, time to go back to real life. Yeah. That's kind of cool. So we, we might be uh, Satanists here pretty soon. Let's see here. Yeah, definitely. We actually... So there, there are some factions and such in the Kingdom of Bavaria. Somebody's trying to get my cousin onto the throne. That's not good. Kind of prefer to kill that guy. Let's see if we can kill this dude. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. We'll definitely have to plot around and, and, and see what's up here. Let's see. Um, uh, for too long, you've restricted the political influence of your vassals. The time has come to give the council more power. Submit to this man peacefully or face the consequences. Rest assured, I've gathered others who are equally upset. So they're trying to enforce something on me. How strong is the faction? 2,000 men. And my domain is only 1,200. I could theoretically hire some mercs. You can borrow some money. We go to the mercenary tab. Let's see. Who's cheapest? I could hire... Yeah, I probably need about 1,500 men or so. Maybe, I mean, I could hire, like, the largest regiment I can get for the money. I have 383 ducats. We make a decent amount right now. Um, this is 750 cav. This is the Pechenegg band and 250 light infantry, as well as um, 750 horse archers. Holy shit. All right, why don't we hire the Pechenegg band? Why don't we uh, raise... I don't want levies. I'm going to go ahead and deny their... 
I will not be blackmailed. Yeah, let's see if we can... Uh... Ooh. Oh, look at that. Somebody has uh, has come around. You've received word of your dedication desire to join the Legion of the True Lord. Await the messenger. Cool. All right. If you say so. Count of Tyrrell. Cool. Commander of the Bavarian Revolt. Really? This commander of the Bavarian Revolt <laughs> wants me to go carousing with him? Yeah, sure. We have open council positions now, apparently. Let's see here. My spy master, who's our best spy master, is, is one of these guys here. Anger for not being on the council. Is there anybody that's like kind of loyal to me? Let's go and select this guy, I guess. And then we have a chancellor. I prefer for someone to be a chancellor who likes me. I guess this guy. Sure. We got one loyalist, a pragmatist, a glory hound, two zealots, and no malcontents on the council for now. Um, let's go and imprison the shit out of people and, uh, yeah. I met an intriguing and hypnotically beautiful woman at court. Apparently this uh, Adelheide is a foreign diplomat. I engaged her in a conversation for the first time today and we spoke at length about poisons. I was shocked when she carefully picked up her sleeve, revealing the mark of Satan. You're the messenger? Wow, woman. The abjure smiles. I'm pleased to find that you are not only charming, that you are not only a charming man, Tassilla, but also one capable of intellectual discourse. Ooh. A predatory grin as she continues. We'll soon see exactly how committed you are. She took me by the hand. Whoa, they're in my bedroom. There's some sort of orgy. <gasps> look at that. <laughs> oh my god, look at the picture. That's cool, man. When I wake up, the, the cloaked figures are gone and Adelheid is lying next to me. A smile tugging at the corner of her mouth. Welcome to Lucifer's own King Tassila III. I hold her close, wondering how I look back on this moment. <laughs> how I will look back on this moment. Joins Lucifer's own society. Cool. Looks like we become uh, lovers and friends. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and, and fight this war here. What's going on? Let's see. Who's our best general? Movement speed. I'll have that guy command the center. I will command... Um, this is one of the captains, I think, of the Pechenik band. Why don't I command the right flank? Let's see here. Did we get here in the Ostreich? All right, let's go ahead. Let's come over here to Salzburg, see if I can engage some of these guys in, uh, in some sort of pitched battle. Let's actually go after them, I guess, if that's the case. There's a Hill's defensive bonus here. Oh, you bastards, come on. Let's see, stair mark is uh, is Hill's. We gotta use these troops quickly. I'm gonna go for this guy in, in Ostreich. Kill that guy. Hopefully it's a stack wipe or something. We do have Shattered Retreat on, so it's a little different than what is vanilla. Vanilla CK2. We got some troops coming here to uh, to Salzburg. It looks like he's scared of my army. Let's see, can I go to Innsbruck? This is uh, this is mountains. I'd rather get him in like some sort of uh, some sort of grasslands. I think he's moving here to Ostmark. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to escape. Let's go and let's go and, and uh, attack here. Three thousand to two thousand. We're gonna put down this revolt for sure and just usurp territories and such. Let's take a look here. We got volley tactics. We got some generic skirmish tactics. Let's see, he's got a weak right flank. He's got heavy infantry. I've got less heavy infantry, but I've got cavalry, light infantry, and I've got some horse archers too, so he's really bad at dealing with horse archers, probably. Um, our right flank basically broke, but we actually we routed the rest of his men. Pretty equal casualties, I'll admit. Let's go and take a look at this here. We're going to have to destroy the entire army before uh, we can claim victory. Oh, shit. Still have 2,700 men to his 1,200 here. Uh, we're attacking into mountains. He's actually going to escape. There's severe winter here. Should hopefully try and avoid attrition if I can help it here. Let's wait until he gets to Kempton. 14th of May. I kind of wish... Uh, let's see, this is Hills. I kind of wish that they added that whole locked feature if you move 50% of the way, like from European Universal 4. That would really be kind of nice. What the hell? Where, where did this army come from? They hired merc mercenaries. Can you believe that shit? That's some bullshit. He's retreating to Niederbaren. Yeah. We have to cross the Danube here. 
I don't want to, but I have to engage that, that captain revolt right there. He hired mercenaries, so we're gonna go ahead and engage them while they have weak morale. Let's see, a white piece with the leader of the Bavarian revolt? Yeah, I don't think so. This battle has shown my true metal. I am brave. Sweet. I'm gonna go kill those mercs. Ooh, the Bohemians actually attacked here. They're attacking one of my, uh, they're, they're attacking the revolt. They are attacking the Bavarian Revolt. All right, we'll have to deal with that once we usurp the territories of my uh, my enemies here. Let's try and get 100% war score in this episode. We'll take a break. Be a cavalry leader, light troops, heavy infantry. Ah, we'll, we'll master rough terrain. How about that? Oh my God, we're gonna be out of money here soon. We have to we have to win this war quickly. Actually, we're probably gonna lose the Mercs. They probably will disappear. They might revolt or something. Mm. I can't extort anything. Yeah, we'll lose these mercenaries. How much? How many more mercenaries are there? Hired? Yeah, I've got 1,200 troops that have hired already. Let's go ahead and disband them then. We, I think we have enough troops to win now. I'm not sure, actually. Hopefully. Let's take a look. Might as well just go to battle, see how it goes. Uh, I don't know, actually. Interesting. Some sort of count has fabricated uh, a claim on my territory. Okay, so we have equal military strength now. He's reinforcing and I'm reinforcing. That's funny. So I've got ticking war score. I might just have to wait him out. I'm not sure yet, though. This guy took some attrition. Salzburg. What's the leader? Yeah, what, where's the... Uh, where's the headquarters of the Bavarian Revolt? It might be this guy, Bohemia. Hmm. He's trying to attack this guy. Let's see. We get a river crossing, and this is hills. I don't really want to siege. I might be able to beat this guy, but... No, I don't know if I have the men to siege. The attrition, the attrition is, like, way too high. Let's come over here. Let's come around. Possibly. That might work out a little better. Uh, ooh, he's going to attack the Bavarians, actually, right now. My courtier and fellow sister in darkness, Adelheid, and I have been discussing a small devotion to Pythias when he suddenly stood up, stretched, and said, I'm in the mood for mayhem. Let's dress and head up down to the town. Interesting. So we can actually generate... We are Lucifer's own, we are an abjurer. So let's go ahead and take a look at this society, actually. This is part of the new Monks and Mystics. So you have a certain amount of power within the organization, and you can actually become, like, a leader of the organization. We can have, like, special powers and stuff. That's pretty cool. So we are in abjurer right now. So what does it give us? We can have a sacrifice to Satan. Wow, we can actually sacrifice prisoners and such. If we have too many sacrifices, we might draw attention to the to the society. Holy shit, look at this high priest. This guy's terrifying. Let's see. Wearing nondescript common clothes, Adelheid and I slowly make our way to the town in amiable or amicable silence. Let's see here. As we pass by a neatly kept garden, I'm suddenly overcome with hatred and revulsion. A neatly kept garden in front of a cozy looking house. Interesting. It's time to do Lucifer's work. I think we're going to go and assassinate these guys or something. The father of the family died last. Ah, but the marvels he got to see first. Adelheid carved the woman's face off and pranced around wearing it as a mask. Oh, God. Boiled baby fat to make a flying potion. That is terrible. We lose the trait content and we become cruel. Wow. That's fascinating. Let's see here. We gain the trait cruel. We get 200 dark power. And there's some sort of... Uh, yeah, the locals will be surely upset if we construct... Some sort of... Uh, we construct an idol of Lilith. Yeah, we'll go ahead and burn it all, I think. Let's see. Satan's favors abjure to Silo. An opportunity to strike the foolish followers of the false gods has presented itself. The priests in Girk are ignorant of the true state of the world. Tear down their idols and steal their wealth. 
Mission desecrate the temple of Gurk. Okay, so we get a mission to desecrate some sort of temple. That's kind of cool. Let's find out where are these Bavarians going. Ooh, my wife's pregnant. Cool. Let's find out what's going on over here. See, managing large staffs of servants in your castle is in many ways like managing a small realm. Yes, we got one stewardship. Sweet. Come on, let's kill this guy. Stack wipe. Do it. Oh, come on, man. How are you not dead yet? That's some bullshit. Can't fight you forever. If I don't end this war soon, the Bohemians are going to take some territory. And we do not want that. Come on. Do it. Do it. Damn, we were becoming, we were becoming really, really good. We we're becoming a g good general. Let's see, focus on cavalry. I'll go ahead and become a cavalry leader. We get 100% war score. That's it. The revolt's over. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I have to defeat the Bavarians now? Or the enemy? These guys? Oh, you bastards. Come on, dude. Really? Yeah, he's fighting off like four separate fucking wars. There's no way that I can make that happen with my, my available troops. Holy shit, my wife died in childbirth. Amazing. Let's see, can we get a, um, some sort of, some sort of other wife? Doesn't look like it. There's no women in the world. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me, man. Really? I'm, I'm, I can't fight these guys off. Son of a bitch. Now somebody else declared war on this guy. This is some bullshit. There's no way I can defeat any of these guys. The Bohemians? Oh, wow. Uh... Alright. Well. I'm gonna go ahead and take a break here, guys. We'll figure out what's gonna go on with that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me, let me know what you think about this series. Um, you know, Crusader Kings, Two Monks, and Mystics. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much.